back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Today is day 16 of 25 days of holiday crafts. And I'm really excited because it's Disney themed. My family loves Disney. We go to Disney World all the time. Just got Disney Plus. For today's craft, I am making Disney themed chocolate bark. I will be in the kitchen with my dad, who's a pastry chef, so you know it'll be good. I think this is a really good gift for someone who maybe loves Disney, but it's not like in your face Disney. Any Disney lover will love it. I'm gonna make three different kinds of bark inspired by three Disney movies. Let's do this. Starting off here with some white chocolate I got at my local grocery store. To melt the chocolate, we are gonna double boil, which means that you have a pan at the bottom with a detachable upper compartment heated by boiling water in the lower one. Cut up your chocolate so that it melts quicker, and you wanna have your stove on a very low heat because you don't want it to burn. So mix your chocolate around until it's maybe half melted. This will take probably under five minutes. Then take that glass bowl off and put it on the table, and then take some more chocolate chunks that are room temperature and just put them in the bowl. The melted chocolate will help the new chocolate chocolate pieces melt. So you want to get a sheet pan and put a piece of parchment paper on it and then just take your spatula and slab it on there. Smooth it out and make it however thick or thin that you want. First up is Monsters Inc. We are taking some blue and green food dye and putting droplets all over it and then we are just taking something sharp. This is actually a fondue skewer but you can use a toothpick or a fork and kind of marbleizing it on the top. I got these really cute eyeball sprinkles from Michaels and they're perfect for monsters or if you wanted to make this Toy Story and do those little green aliens, that would be great too. If you use any kind of chunky sprinkle, make sure that you give it a light press down so that it's in the chocolate. Next up, I am doing Frozen. I am taking these kind of crystallized sugars and my snowflakes and just kind of putting them on top. Again, making sure that they're pressed in there really nicely. I have these little blue chocolate balls that I'm using that I love. They give a really nice texture when you bite into the chocolate. And then at the end here, I'm making my little melted Olaf with just some pretzel rods, two eyeballs, and then I took a little piece of candy to make the orange nose. Here is my giant Trader Joe's chocolate, and I'm going to go through the same process and melt it. Now we're gonna do Mickey Mouse, and for that I took some yellow and red peanut butter M&Ms and broke them up into little pieces to kind of represent the shoes. So now I am using any red sprinkle that I own, and that includes some peppermint dust that I got at Home Goods that I absolutely love. It goes great with the chocolate. It's like a, a minty chocolate bark. It's perfect. I highly suggest using that. I used some black and white sprinkles, anything that was in the color scheme. Once you're done decorating, take your whole tray and simply put it in the fridge until it hardens. Now here's the fun part. Pick it up with clean hands, of course, and break it into a bunch of pieces. I hope this inspired you to make your own Disney bark. There are so many ideas, so many movies to choose from, and it was so much fun and so easy. For any children watching this, you definitely need an adult to help you with this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you make the Disney bark, I really want to see it, so please tag me at MadCrafty on Instagram or email me at info at See you real soon.